Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. I'm going to share with you some books that I purchased through Amazon. I recently purchased four coloring books and one instructional book. The instructional book that I picked up is Dilusions, Distinctly Dilusional, A Guide to Art Journaling by Diane Weavely. Diane Weavely is the creator of all of the awesome, amazing Dilutions products. I have pretty much all of her ink sprays, all of her paints, some of her stencils, and I recently started using some of her art journals. I love her products. I am still learning how to use her ink sprays and how um, to get them to play nicely. <laughs> with her paints and just how to play nicely with each other you'll know that you know some colors don't play nice with each other some create mud others um, when put together create some beautiful artwork so I'm still learning but I will say that I feel so much more educated <laughs> and much more comfortable using her products now that I've read this um, I have a better understanding of um, what she was thinking when she created these products and how she intended them to be used and learned how some of them can be manipulated and it's just an awesome book. It is a very basic book, I will say that. Um, it's just tips and techniques um, explaining how the paints, like I said, work on paper and how to apply the paints and the sprays and whatnot. She also cre talks of in, in detail about different elements of building an art um, journal page, um, at least the method that she uses. And a lot of the tips that I learned in this book, I have already applied, and I feel like it's made a, a world of difference in my pages. And I even went back on some pages that I previously created and made some modifications <laughs> um, after reading this book. And I, I love the page more so now than I did before. So great book, um, easy to follow, step by step. If you love Dilutions products, if you're just starting out with Dilutions product, it's a book that I would recommend. Um, because it really is a basic intro step-by-step -step on how her products uh, work together. And it's also some great tips on creating a journal or art pages. So that's the Dilutions instructional book. The coloring books, um, I bought two different types or two books well, one book from Jane Davenport and three books from another artist. So let's talk about Jane Jane Davenport. I finally picked up Whimsical Girls. And to be honest, I didn't even realize when this book first came out that it was a coloring book. I thought that it was a, an instructional book, which is why when it first came out, it really didn't appeal to me, didn't pique my interest because I uh, wasn't interested in learning how to create this um, style of, of, of drawing. Um, I knew it's like way beyond <laughs> my abilities. So I wasn't interested in an instructional how to do that, but, um, through reviews and I think a couple of videos here, I eventually learned that it's more a coloring book. And if I had just taken the time to read the cover I would have known that because it's very clear what it is. 100 plus specialty art papers, stickers, and inspiring drawings to paint, color, and customize. I mean, you know, take a moment to read the cover is all I got to say. Because <laughs> I failed to do that and didn't realize what an amazing coloring book this exactly is. So it is awesome. You get tons of, you get some stickers. Here are the stickers. Fun stickers. You get um, some pattern paper. Okay. And then you get a bunch of images on different types of papers for you to color and um, make your own. Not only do you get the images on the one side, and you also get 
on one page you get an image to color on the page next to it you get some kind of beautifully illustrated page that either has a sentiment or just beautiful images like this perhaps with some space for you to continue to work on the pages if you can see are perforated so they're easy to rip out when um, you're done with them if your intention is to incorporate them into one of your art journals like here's an example on the one page you have the image on the other you have this lovely illustration with a sentiment dreaming takes courage so you can use these pages on the opposite side I suppose to create uh, covers for journals and whatnot but you will have to make a choice between what side of the page you want to use if there was a negative to this book I would say it's that it's kind of one of those things where you have to make a hard call between what side you want to use I really wish they had done the single-sided approach where each page is a standalone page that way you can rip it out and not have like this dilemma of what pay what side of the page do I do I want to use be nice if you can use all of them but um, pretty much the only negative I would say uh, about the book I love the illustrations and I definitely will be coloring them in cutting them out I think I'm gonna stick more with the images and sacrifice a lot of uh, I'm thinking to stick more with the coloring and sacrifice a lot of the sentiments only because I bought it because I was more interested in the coloring. The sentiments are lovely, but you got to make a choice, right? <laughs> so that is the Whimsical Girls. These are beautiful. This is gorgeous. Love that. It's probably the first page I'm going to work on. But how great are these? Fun, fun, fun. Fun. Fun book. And then finally, I picked up three coloring books by the same artist. These are by Juliet Crane. And these are um, single-sided pages, which is what I love. And the intention of this artist was that she created images, uh, original drawings for you to color and make your own and incorporate into your art journal. Her images are gorgeous. You also have some blank pages in the back to work with. Her images are gorgeous. I love them. Love, love, love. And here's what I'm talking about when I say single-sided. You see that? So there's no, oh my gosh, what side am I going to use? There's only one side here. It's pretty awesome, and I love that. The paper itself, it's not super thick, but it can stand up to most um, media. Uh, there's an artist I follow here on YouTube who does a lot of mixed media using these coloring books. I will link her down below and you can go see for yourself how she uses these pages. Um, I've seen her use um, Copic, so alcohol type markers on them. I've seen her use um, color pencils and she also... I'm trying to recall, I believe also use paints. But I will link her down below because if you if ever you wanted an idea of how these pages stand up to use, then she's definitely the one you want to follow. She has an amazing collage or napkin journal that where she uses just napkins and images from these coloring books to create her layouts. So what she does is she starts with a napkin base, then she um collages one of these images on top of the napkins after she colors it in and then she uses acrylic paints to kind of blend the two together to create these beautiful beautiful uh art layouts i'm definitely going to link her down below so that you can check her out absolutely love these images because they're different they're unique they're basic they're simple and i love how each of them the expressions are just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So this particular book right here is Whimsical Animals. So I picked that one up. She also has Wild and Free. Kind of hard to decide which is my favorite. <laughs> because I kind of like them all. <laughs> How awesome are they? love 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 
I mean, you can uh, incorporate the entire page into your art journal after you customize it, or you can fussy cut and use what ele whatever elements you want. But love, love, love the images. Love the images. And if you don't like the facial expressions, you can always uh, paint them, um, blank them out, and then put your own expressions in them. But how fun are these? That is Wild and Free. And then the final book was Big Monster, or is Big Monster. This one, I don't know, maybe this one's my favorite. <laughs> these are so great. I love these. Love them. Love these. I have quite a few coloring books, um, but these might be my favorite. Absolute favorite. And I learned about uh, Juliet Crane, and I learned about these coloring books from watching... I forget her name, my goodness, but I'm going to link her down below. She is the artist that I was just telling you about, um, who has that napkin journal, collage journal, um, and whatnot. I, I, I discovered her recently when I was researching um, some problems that I was having with my art journal. My pages were sticking... And, um, come to find out it's because of the, the, uh, medium that I'm using to adhere the pages and the napkins, the medium that I'm using to adhere the napkins to the page. I've been using Mod Podge and that's a big part of the problem. Um, but in watching her videos, I have learned some solutions to that. Um, and I've also learned about better products that I can be using in my art journal so she's really great um, for learning and she's amazing to watch and she's a great source of inspiration and I really do wish I knew her name right here right now so that I can tell you what it is but it's late and I heard the click I heard the switch <laughs> shutting the brain off right before I started filming so um, what I'll do is I'll link her down below and you can definitely go check her out so because of her, I am definitely um, investing in some better products for my journals. And um, hopefully I'll share those finished pages with you. And, you know, you can judge for yourself. It was better before or better now. I don't know. <laughs> so that is my purchase, my friends. I thought I would share with you some fun books that I picked up. I also have some magazines that I picked up from Barnes and Nobles, but I think I'll do that in a separate video for another day. I also have my flow um, book that I want to do a very um, detailed flip through uh, and show you everything that's in that book and also probably do a little giveaway um, soon in one of my videos. I just have to decide um, which of the videos I'm going to do the giveaway in. So that is my entire share, my friends. Thank you so, so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it, and I hope you visit me again. Until next time, bye-bye.